about 18 million adults live with bowel issues, and this number is probably even higher as patients are too embarrassed to talk about these symptoms. Anal rectal manometry, it's a diagnostic test that evaluates the pelvic floor muscles. This is an important test because it can come up with a diagnosis, which can then guide treatment and help patients. It's a test that's ordered to evaluate patients with chronic constipation, fecal incontinence, fecal urgency, and even chronic anal rectal pain. It's a test that measures rectal pressures, rectal sensation, and also certain reflexes that are necessary to have a normal bowel movement. Anyone at any age and sex can have a pelvic floor issue, but certain risk factors for pelvic floor issues include multiple childbirths, vaginal tears during childbirth, obesity, and also pelvic surgeries. Even though pelvic floor issues are more common in the older patient, they are by no means a normal part of aging. Symptoms can vary. There's fecal incontinence, which is involuntary loss of stool. Fecal incontinence can result in large volume losses, in embarrassing accidents, or can be a little bit more obscure where there's just a little bit of seepage in the underwear. With constipation, there may be a lot of straining on the toilet. There may be squirming around, adopting different positions on the toilet, and even need for manual disimpaction. The prep is quite simple. No need to do a full colonoscopy prep. It's just two fleet enemas that are completed two hours prior to the procedure. And there's also a two hour fast for that duration prior to the procedure. On the day of a procedure, the patient just comes in as if they would a regular office visit. They would be asked to undress from the waist down and are positioned on their left side on this exam table here. And of course, draped for privacy. I'll show you the catheter here. It looks long and scary, um, but it's only inserted at most this much into the rectum, so about four to five inches. This catheter is very thin and very flexible, much thinner than the width of my finger. This plastic portion here, that's a balloon that is inflated during certain parts of the procedure. This test does not cause any pain, but it may cause some, some pressure sensations. The duration of this test is quite quick, about 20 minutes in total. The patient is asked to perform certain exercises like squeezing and bearing down. And that pressure probe within that catheter then collects all the information. After that procedure is done, the catheter is removed. There are no restrictions for the patient and they're able to go about their daily activities. If you're having any of these symptoms, please talk to your provider. I know it can be hard to talk about because the symptoms may be embarrassing, but the UGI providers are happy to help and are here to listen.